Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a script editor like this. Now this will be in a couple parts and a couple videos I'll upload to my channel. They'll be a couple days apart or more than two days apart. And they'll be anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes long. So to start off, I'm just going to show you around it. So we have the new button, which just clears this. We have the open button, which opens the file that we want and then we have the save button which saves the file now at the top you can see that it has the tet it has the name of the file that we have open and it on the tabs and they have the X button which I'll be leaving a link to this text box and the tab control and I'll be showing y'all how to use those and then we're going to, and then we have the help button, which just shows you how to add a new tab for now, which is you just right click and click add tab, or you can click control T. Now that, uh, that works for both of them. And then you can exit, which just exits it out. And I'm not going to show you. And then you can change the language to text file, C sharp, vb.net, which is what this is, HTML, PHP. SQL and JavaScript. Now we're just going to stick with VB, and that's about it. You have the paste, copy, and cut, and you have the clear, and then, yeah. So that's about it for the overview. And once you have so many tabs open, you can just, since it doesn't automatically resize them, it automatically resizes for the text, but you can see that you can just choose whatever one you want, or you just close down of all the ones that you don't want. Okay, and then you can drag and drop these, and I think that's about it. So now we're going to get started. We're going to create a new project, and I'm going to call this script editor tut, and I'm going to hit enter. Now after that, I'm going to resize this, and we're going to check the time. It's only two minutes, and we're going to go to... Um, actually first we're going to come over here to the Solution Explorer, we're going to right click on Form 1 and we're going to type in rename, click on rename. And for this we're just going to change the name to main form dot vb, and we're going to hit enter, and you can see the name changed. And then over here we're just going to call this, we're going to change the text to script editor. And you have that, and we're going to change the, I'm just going to shut off the icon for now, because I don't have an icon I want to upload. Um, there. Now after that, I'm going to close down the start page, and we're going to resize this up, and now we're going to come down here. I already have these added, so underneath custom tools, so I'm just going to delete all these. Delete, okay, delete, okay, and delete, okay. Now after that, I'm going to click save all. And we're going to browse, and we're going to go to our computer. You can save this wherever you want. It's just I have a tutorials folder and my C drive. And for script editor, we're just going to save it in here. And we're just going to call this script editor program file. Okay, and we'll click select folder. Oops, we didn't want to do that. We want to come back to tutorials and script editor. Okay, now so we'll select that folder and we'll just name this script editor program files. And we'll click, oh, we'll click save and It'll save it, and while we're there, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get those files out of wherever they're hidden on my computer, and I'll be back as soon as I find them. Okay, I found the files that we needed, and I got them in this folder. Now, I'm just going to create a zip with these two files and upload it to Mediafire and Forshare for whatever one you prefer. Or, I'll actually, I'll probably just put them on my website since they're fairly small. And I'll leave a download link on that. So, 
um, first you just gotta right click and click copy and you're going to go to where you saved that um, just now when we were saving it from oops not program files tutorials script editor script editor program files and then open that and go to bin debug and paste them both in there now after you do that you're going to go to release and paste them both in there now we we'll go to debug and we're just going to make this a bit smaller and we're going to go to that minimize that again now we want this now after we got that we're going to go to debug and we're going to select both of these and we're going to drag them right on over now I created a tab called custom tools so and in order to do that all you have to do is find an empty spot and right click and click add tab and then just name it okay the and we'll just remove this tab delete tab okay now after that we have our fast color text box and our tab control added in now we just drag in the tab control and you see it's in now all we have to do is go to dock and fill now now we have that all we have to do is go up to project and add windows form that's not all we have to do and we're going to name this tab form and make sure it has windows form and we're going to click add okay now after that we're going to resize this up a little bit and we're going to add in a fast colored text box and we'll just resize this and we'll go down to the properties and find text and we'll delete that so we don't want any text in it and then after that we're going to find tool strip which should be under the tab menus and toolbar and we're going to make sure the dock is set to top and we're going to click on this little arrow over here and change the grip style to hidden now after that we're going to click on this arrow again and click insert standard items now on here we're going to touch first actually this video is going to be all just looks now fast code text box and we'll come down to properties and find dock and set that to fill and I don't know why it did that but I guess we can't do that with this for some reason we're going to resize it sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't so the dock might work for you but it didn't work for me so we're going to resize it and we're going to find the anchor and set the anchor to top left right and bottom top and left should already be set and dark gray and you just have to make right and bottom dark gray so all four of those now after that we're going to I've resized that to the whole form and we're going to change the text of the we're going to click on this blue part, go to properties, and change text to untitled document. And then we're going to come back up here to main form .vb. And we're going to find icon size. Tab icon size. And we're going to set that to 0, comma, 0. So it doesn't have any icon on it. And right there we're going to come over here and find context menu strip drag that right onto the form now to add it down here and we're going to type up here new tab or new file now we'll just type in new document and then down here we're going to type in exit now for new document we're going to go over to the properties and find shortcut keys and set that to control and T. There, now that we have that, we can just click off of there, see that it has that, and we we'll click on tab and find context menu in the properties. And we choose context menu strip one. Now, if you want, you can rename this to, we'll just go up here and rename this to tab context. Now, we'll come back to the tab control. And we'll find context menu and make sure that it still has tab context. Okay, now after that, we're going to come over here. And we'll go ahead and show, show icon. It's not going to make a difference, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. 
and that should be it for about for this tutorial and we'll get started with the next tutorial in a little bit thanks for watching have a nice day and remember the links for the download will be in the description and the code which i haven't added any yet and everything you need to add okay bye